Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper. Welcome back to my Same But Different Christmas card series for 2020. Today's video is all about strips and stripes. And I really like the modern fun look that stripes give a Christmas card. And you can do this in any colour combo that you like. And it's a really great way to use your scraps as well. I've got some nice bright colours that I'm going to be using today, but you already knew that, didn't you? If you've been here before you already knew I was going to be <laughs> using bright colours but if you haven't been here before you might not have known that but welcome it's nice to have you here and if you do like today's video it'd be awesome if you could subscribe to the channel and hang around to the end because I've got more videos linked there from my previous Christmas card series I've been doing this series for a few years now so it'd be great if you could find some more inspiration there as well Lots to do today, so we better get striping. I'm not going to say the other one. <laughs> so I've got the Concord and Ninth. This is their sampler paper pack, which gives you two of each colours. And I have already made a video this series using this paper pack. So if you go to the playlists, you'll be able to find the videos that I've made previously. But what I'm doing here basically is creating a color combo, like almost um, a rainbow of colors that I want to use throughout my whole set of cards today. And this is what I came up with. And these papers are lovely to use. They're a nice solid cardstock and in the prettiest of colors. And here are the strips. <laughs> They are from Alan Hudson and there's two different sets here. I've got the large and the small. So when they cut the strips of cardstock, it actually comes with a uh, like a tab at the top. So I mean, this would make really great fringes for a card. So I'm going to have to give that a try too. How much fun would that be? Now I did choose some really lovely colours. They're the evergreen parsley, the pale green, which is really pretty. It's called Sprout. The poppy, which is the bright red, sorbet, and then the grapefruit. I am sort of colouring my images. I thought this is going to be my critter cute set of cards. I always, every year I always tend to do a set of cards in my Christmas card series using critters and cute creatures. So this is that episode I suppose you could call it and I'm following through the same design colors throughout all of these images they're from a variety of different sets including the the pussycat here which is not a Christmas set actually it's from kittens and mittens and that's one of the Colorado craft company sets one of the newer sets a couple of fab MFT sets um, the polar bears from the Merry Moments um, and oh yeah that really cool flamingo that's from Sun Love and Santa what else did I do oh this cute little hedgy here's a penny black image and it's from a set called Holly Jolly Critters the mouse is from Waffle Flower Crafts and the tree and the deer are both from another Alan Hudson set which is called Santa's List so the ones that I didn't have coordinating dies for, I did fussy cut those out. Now I wanted to do some different ideas today using strips and stripes. And you can do anything you like. You can mix it up any way you like. You can just cut strips of paper. You can use design paper. You can stamp stripes. You can paint stripes. You can do whatever you want. But today I thought I'd sort of flow the whole theme throughout these cards. I basically have just some card panels so they're either side fold top fold and also cardstock pieces so this first one that I'm kind of working out my combo and not doing a very good job of it is just a piece of white cardstock and I want to do some die cutting of some letters so that's why I've done that one the middle card here I'm doing is actually a card base and I want to create a rainbow of colour. So starting from the green, working up through the grapefruit sorbet and then finishing with the red. This is another card panel. It's a rectangle that's going to go on the front of a card. 
and this time I want to actually mix the colors up so I'm just picking random colors I'm picking random sizes I'm trying not to overthink of it overthink it and then when I need the small bits at the end I'm just cutting the tabs off the side and using those I find the either the ATG gun or the dotted tape work really well you could also use the liquid glue and you could also use the sheets of adhesive they work really well for something like this as well another panel here and this time I thought I'd want to create sort of a mixed um, color flow in my colors this one here is actually a four and a quarter square card that folds on the side and this one I'm only using the green stripes for so you can see here there are so many opportunities and such a, a scope like you can just do anything and you can put any kind of critter or creature you can change it up keep it as complicated or simple as you like it's just a lot of fun to do and these strips and stripes um, I did muck it up here <laughs> and fix it uh, just so much fun to do I if you know, might have noticed I've missed a color there altogether this time I thought I'd flow the colors through in like from the red back to the green but not mixing them up this time it's just once I started creating this these you know these set of cards it was really easy to come up with ideas and as you saw there I just flipped the card stock over and cut away the edges and I find that works really well for me but you can also use a paper trimmer to do the same thing all right so I'm going to start assembling the cards now I'm starting with a speech bubble here a sentiment which is also from MFT and this one is from the holiday tag talk set and I wanted to create a speech bubble with the chat bubbles and it's a solid die so to make sure I die cut it in the correct place I've just created a template which I hold over top and tape in situ and then tape the die and run both pieces of cardstock through the machine it just cuts out where I've laid the die into it's a really good way to line up a solid die now I like dimension on my cards so I have actually added some fun foam behind my panels and used foam dots behind my images but you could certainly keep these flat on your card if you're worried about postage these designs would look just as nice if you did lay them flat but I really like I like to mention what have I got to say <laughs> this time I thought I'd stamp the sentiment directly onto the actual cardstock like the colored rainbow cardstock and it's a really beautiful font from a alter new set and it's from the modern poinsettia set on these images today I have added a couple of embellishments I've used some droplets clear droplets red droplets heart uh, enamel dots and heart droplets I will link everything that I've used today as much as I can fit in the description below but they will all be at my blog otherwise just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you've got any questions about today's cards this card here I decided to die cut my sentiment using my strips of cardstock to give it um, just a bit of a fun look and I thought I'd pop these up on some fun foam I like to leave my die cuts in place within the fun foam add the matte medium and then I can adhere my die cut pieces on top I usually allow a couple of minutes for it to start drying before I start pulling them away from the foam that way it doesn't separate the cardstock so much from from the actual new adhesive but uh, the longer it stays there the more stuck it will get <laughs> so this is a top fold landscape card I'm not stamping Mary the wrong way and that is an older set from Waffle Flower Crafts and it's called um, now I'm gonna lie to you here because I didn't write this one down it's the carolers that's it it's from the carolers set I added my letters directly to the bottom of the card and my little mouse from Waffle Flower from Colt, the cold hand set 
I thought as he's skating along, he's actually pushed that S over into the I. It's like dominoes. Now this is probably the most complex of all the designs today. They all are quite simple to do. Anyone can do them. They're heaps of fun. You can do them whatever colour combo that you want. And this time I did die cut a double pierced dotted, I don't know what it's called, something like that. It's from Avery L. <laughs> and I die cut a rectangle to create, out of a rectangle, to create a frame. And then I've adhered it to the panel that I created before and then I can just pop that onto the front of my top fold card. The word cheese is from MFT. I don't think you can get this one anymore but there are lots of companies that make the word cheese die cut. You can use any sentiment that you have. I just thought it was fun to sort of lay it over the top of that negative space. I added some foam dots to my flamingo and I thought it'd be fun to say Christmas cheers because the flamingo has a pineapple on a tray. I was thinking, I was kind of thinking pina coladas. <laughs> that was what was in my brain, but there is no glass there, I've just realised. Well, they'll have their own glass at the table perhaps. This card here I actually stamped directly um, between the strips or stripes and use a little sentiment from Penny Black which is from the Believe set. Added my sweet little Penny Black hedgie and some droplets. I just sort of scattered them around that little wreath. I really like using the Misty for stamping like this because I wouldn't have been game to stamp it with a block. Not without holding my breath. I don't know how we did stamping without the Misty. If you haven't got one and you haven't tried one before, pop around to a friend's house and give it a whirl. You will be converted. <laughs> this time I decided to make an ombre style sentiment and I'm using the same colours that are in my card stocks here. The sort of the um, Bellini Coral Cabana Lime Ricky and the dark green here I've used the eucalyptus and this is where the misty really comes into its own. I've just left the stamp and the cardstock in place and it allows me to keep coming back in and adding colour. I only really cleaned the stamp between the colours of the you know like the apricot colours and the green colours that other than that I just kept adding just a little bit of ink at a time and built up the sentiment so it looked ombre. I really like that for a trick and you wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to do that with a block stamp not as easily anyway. I did cut a speech bubble from Alan Hudson and popped up the little kittens and mittens cat with some heart droplets. So hang around to the end because I have some more videos linked. Thanks so much for joining me today until next time. Happy paper crafting. Bye.